Greetings Kaiju fans, it's Thomas here with another box day and today we have a pretty cool one because this is more like a second sweepstakes figure for me because the first time when it came out I passed on it and I think the main reason why is because it was not really like a Toho Kaiju or or a film that I even seen. It's a, it's a Kaiju from a film that I did not see rather so fast forward a little bit later uh, they elect to reissue it but this time in a different color and there's something else about it that I really like and that was that made me definitely get it right away so it's here now I'm gonna check it out with you guys and give you my impressions and my quick review all right and here is Audrey out of the box Let's get a quick look of the header card, number 5 out of a limited run of 50. And it looks like there's, I see Kaiju Live on the left hand corner, made by Marmot. And look at her, she looks ferocious in that header card. But in vinyl form, Safubi style, she actually looks kind of cute there. And as you can see, pink, green, purples, blue, yellow. Maybe a couple shades of green. She's a beauty. And a quick look at the other side. As you guys know, this this kaiju is from the Little Shop of Horrors. The cult classic, which I have not yet seen. But it is on my list now. And I will be watching it this year. So here we have Audrey out of the package. And my first impression of Audrey is that she is really cool. She is actually quite lovely for a very strange plant kaiju. I really like the colors. Pinks, purple, greens, neon green. And it's kind of spread throughout the, the body, the leaves, the tentacles. And the thing that I mentioned earlier that I really think is really cool is that this one is a glow in the dark. And that includes the pot. So that's the the blue, like a two-tone blue, maybe greenish blue there. So she is really a beauty. And I believe her mouth opens up too. So let's go ahead and check that out right now. All right, I opened the mouth. That's not the best looking position there, but it is definitely wide open. All right, here is a close-up of Audrey and her open mouth. And as you can see, she is quite the beauty. And afterwards, when I get a chance, I'm actually going to light her up so that you guys can see the glow feature, glow-in-the-dark feature. So I am going to try to keep this review a little bit shorter than the other ones that I do. But this one here I got from Kaiju Live. I ordered directly from their website and she arrived safely and I'm very happy about that. That's a pretty nice flower pot. That's a huge, that's got to be a huge pot. I don't know if whether Audrey was just a little baby plant and then she grew to be a, a big monster. I'm not sure. I'll have to find out. But I'm not going to read up on it because I want to see the show myself. So, okay, so that's Audrey right there. And here is Audrey in the dark. Just a little quick shot as the glow will probably start to fade. She is definitely very cool. So let's get started with some quick comparisons. Here is the M1 Biolante from quite a few years back and she almost scales good with with Audrey and you can see the big color differences here's a quick front front view and a quick shot from the back and you see Audrey has those huge big leaves For comparison number two, we have the Gigabrain Gigan. 
and this is the red translucent version. And I would say these guys scale pretty good. So here is the third comparison, and this time it is with the Billiken 30 centimeter 1968 Godzilla. And this Billiken is probably more like a 28 centimeter, or give or take, maybe 27 and a half, something like that. It's not a true 30 centimeter. And Godzilla towers over Audrey. Now, now, Audrey, you are not Violante. Don't do that. Ah, well, I guess I can't stop Audrey from trying. Okay, guys, my final word on Audrey is that I think she is a wonderful figure. And I definitely recommend you guys to pick her up if you can. She has a really nice paint job, a really good scope, as well as a very cool glow-in-the-dark effect. So overall, I give this figure, I'm going to say a 9.5. That's pretty much the highest I can give. So she will make a wonderful addition to your Kaiju collection. So I hope you guys liked my quick review on Audrey. And stay tuned for my next video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Also check us out at Kaiju Collectors on Facebook. And we also have a channel on YouTube which is an extension of Kaiju Collectors with exclusive content, and that is called Monsters with Attitude. So once again, thanks for watching, and take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.